Hey guys, Jeff Dickinson here. Welcome back to the Collection Zone. Check this out. What I'm going to be talking about today is how I game my old school arcade games and also console games. A lot of people are doing a lot of different things and I just want to cover some of the things that I enjoy the most and why. Now as you can see back here, I got an arcade one up. I'm all about the arcade one up when it first uh, came about around 2018, uh, while I'm getting one of the first gen cabinets of the 1201 Atari. Love Atari. So as time went on, new things came out. We have these numb school, one four scale uh, arcade cabinets made of real wood. They play the ROM of the game. And of course, you know, you put a little cord in there and push a little button and it plays the game. I have the audio turned off by the way. Same thing with Galaga. Let me bring this up here closer. See, a cord in there. Huh. And it plays a game. It's got a light marquee. We have real wood. And, and the cool part about this is that um, it's you know made to the specs of the original arcade. So if you are like me, you know, you I used to own the Galaga original, uh, but cannot do so right now. This is the next best thing if you want to start a manager collection. Um, now there's a company called New Wave Toys that did Dragon Slayer and uh, Asteroids. I could wind up getting that. Um, those are one six scale, a little bit smaller, but those uh, Dragon Slayer one, especially, you can plug into your TV and play. So that's kind of cool. And they used uh, our real arcade ROMs. So that's what's cool about these miniatures. The Numbskull and the uh, New Wave Toys are using the original arcade ROMs. But let's move on a little bit here. Now, when we talk about old school gaming, you know, you could get one of these three in one. This is a uh, Nintendo, Super Nintendo, and a Sega Genesis and Mega Drive, Sega Mega Drive. Uh, you can play those cartridges on this one. And this one here is a uh, retro bit. This is a Super Retro Bit 3. Um, I did an unboxing on that in a comparison, so um, if you want to check that out, I'll put a link below to that. Um, as well as, you know, uh, check out my channel for the other videos because I did unboxings of these as well. Uh, what's cool about those, the retro bit, is that you can play the original Nintendo games, Super Nintendo, I'm all about that, and the Genesis. Let's go ahead and pop it in the cart here. You can put all three if you wish. And you can play any game you want by selecting the selector. One goes to Sega, two goes to Super, and three all the way up goes to the Nintendo. And you know, it works really well. Um, you plug in your original Nintendo, you know, controller. You got your Super Nintendo controller you can plug into. And of course, good old Genesis original controller. And of course, you know, it's for two player as you can see right here. Like I said, I'll put a link below if you want to check that out. Um, and, you know, that was the extent of my gaming when it came to original arcade and old school consoles. I got the original Nintendo and Super Nintendo. Never owned a Genesis. That's the reason why this came about. Came highly recommend. Well, what happened afterwards, you know, after these, you know, consoles that came out to play your old school games, were these miniatures. This is a little miniature, you know, Nintendo and Super Nintendo. It came with its own little cord of, you know, it, exact replica of the uh, controller this one the controller was really super small there was a off uh, brand company uh, aftermarket you could call it it was called york i believe they had an extra long controller you could buy and it's 20 bucks so i wound up getting this when i first got new and then that controller the super nintendo nintendo did you well they included a longer controller and both use the same power source, so if you want to box one, take out the power cord, you can plug them in both, and you got two different controllers to connect to that. And that's kind of cool. These have some cool games. Um, you know, I you know, did a boxing on that, check it out on my channel. And what happened after that was I was doing the arcade one up. I was enjoying these miniatures. But what caught my eye is this bad boy over here. This is your at games legend gamer. This one's a pro. I wanted to get in a mini first. Um, Legends Gamer Pro had this bad boy. You can play with a joystick, it's got your buttons here, you can play your pinball, and it's for two players, so when you play that cool Robotron, you need the two joysticks. What I originally started doing here was I got the um, Mini, 
uh, it was the comes to the puck and the mini, and it was cool. I was able to play a lot of cool games, but I found myself wanting to play Robotron. This is where this bad boy came in. Uh, I wound up finding it on eBay. Uh, went sitting to my little brother. No, take that back. I sent my brother a uh, Walmart sale that was on sale for a hundred bucks back a while back, and I sent it to him. And then as I was playing the mini, I thought, you know, I'm gonna upgrade this too. I got this one on eBay for 150, so I had to pay 50 dollars more for this. These days, you could catch them about 100 to 150, 175, depending. And this is still available at the At Games website. I think it's a few hundred dollars, so you can still get it. Now, the Pro came with uh, 150 games built in. Uh, the Mini had, I believe, about 100, give or take. I'm not 100%, can't remember right now, but. You could load games, which is cool right here. There is a little thing here on the side. You can put your games on a uh, USB drive and you load it up. There is a wonderful community uh, on Facebook for at games that helps you, you know, walk you through and how to expand your library. I'll put a link below to that Facebook page if you want to check it out. Those are good souls there to help you out. Well, basically, guys, this is how I game. You know, um, I enjoy it. I wanted to get the uh, At Games Legend Gamer, uh, the, the tall one. It's kind of comparison to the At Games 3-4 scale. That one's like a 3-4 scale. It came with spinners. And the thing is that, you know, I couldn't afford it. It was like five, 600 bucks. And that's five, 600 bucks. I don't have it right now. But this is a couple hundred, uh, well, under a couple hundred when I got it. And it, is, it does the job. Uh, for spinner games, you can use a trackball. For shooting games, you can use a trackball. But all of this is expandable. You can buy yourself a, a light gun to connect this. You can uh, get yourself a mod kit for spinners. Uh, Glenn's Retro Show uh, has a lot of videos on how to do you know, the modding, uh, adding stuff to not only arcade one up, but to add games. He's a gamer just like us. Well, before I let you go, I want to talk about the Geek and I. It's a podcast that me and my bro John does. Well, we do interviews with uh, cool people like uh, Butch Patrick from the Munsters. We talk to rockers like my bro Patrick Kennison, and uh, we, we just have a good time. We, we talk to actors like Betsy Baker from The Evil Dead. So be sure to check it out. The Geek and I is all about pop culture, movies, interviews, and video games, just like the Collector Zone. The Collector Zone is all about pop culture, as you know. You're here for a while. You've been enjoying the videos. I'm all about gaming. I do my gameplay. I share my thoughts just as I am on games. I also do my unboxings. I love doing my unboxings because I want to experience things and show you what I'm going through. And maybe it will help you. Uh, also, I like going out and about. I like going to video game stores. And you always will get my cool videos of... My POV of showing you the store and me on a hunt. Also going to cool museums like I did the train museum there in Plano, Texas. And I plan to go to NASA. That's another video coming up in the future here on the Collector Zone. Well, guys, thanks for the hang time. Once again, big shout out to my bro John from the Geek and I for always being there for me and going to the retro expos and the fan expos and putting up with me because I'm just like a kid in the candy store. And also, big shout out to my subscribers. I already hit over a thousand, and it warmed my heart that you got me to that point. It's because of you that got me there. I appreciate you guys each and every day that the channel grows. And most importantly, most importantly, you OGs, you guys there from the beginning. Because when you start this YouTube channel, you got no subscribers. And you know, your friends hook you up. And then of course, moving on, you get those new people. So I consider my channel still underground. Being at a thousand subscribers, I'm still underground. Same thing with the Geek and I. We've got a little over a thousand subscribers as well. And you know, we we are like to be underground. We like to be that secret, secret, you know, channel. But eventually as we grow, we do appreciate you. Well guys, thanks for the hang time. And once again, game on. Enjoy your day playing video games, because that's how I do it. That's how I relieve my stress. Well, see you in the next one. Layers.